Hello everyone, this is Professor Vinod Hivse. Welcome all of you to my today's lecture. So in this lecture, I will cover two topics. First one, what are the types of element? Means according to the shape of the element, primarily there are three types of element. That is one dimensional element, two dimensional element and three dimensional element. And we will discuss in detail one by one in lecture. And second topic is selecting the element type of mesh good morning students today's our topic is common type of elements for meshing so meshing is a very important part of fa analysis because with the selection of type of elements the result of the component will get vary so there are three types of element used in finite element method so first one is one dimensional element which will be used for rods beams trusses frames etc so one dimensional element is having two nodes basic example of one dimensional element is bridge structure towers etc the two dimensional element it includes triangular and a rectangular element so triangular element is having three nodes and a rectangular element is having four nodes third one is three dimensional element used for volume shape basic element for that is hexahedral and tetrahedral elements so these tetrahedral and hexahedral elements having 10 to 12 nodes so the selection of tetra and hedrahedral element depend on the shape and size of the geometry so here meshing word is used so what is meshing meshing is one of the most important step in performing an accurate simulation using fea so mesh is made of element which contain nodes coordinate locations in a space that can vary with the element type so that represents the shape of the geometry so fa solver cannot easily work with the irregular shape but he is very much happier with the common shape like cubes so meshing is the process of turning irregular shape into the more recognizable volume like elements. So now we will see these all three types of element in detail. So first one is line element. A line element has the shape of line or curve therefore a minimum of two nodes are required to define it there can be higher order element that have additional nodes at the middle of the edge of an element you can see here straight line indicates it's a linear element and the curved line indicates it's a quadratic element so quadratic elements having additional node at the middle because of chord shape an additional node is required so simple hai agar line agar straight hai to usko hum bolte linear or first order line element or line element ke jo do corners hote hai usko bolte hai node so straight line ke do corners hai isko bolenge node 1 aur isko node 2 bolenge agar straight line hai to wo hoga linear or first order line element wahi line agar chord shape mein hai तो हमें एक एडिशनल नोड रिक्वायर्ड होता है और ये कॉर्ड शेप लाइन को हम बोलते हैं सेकंड ऑर्डर लाइन एलिमेंट और क्वाड्रेटिक लाइन एलिमेंट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस सेकंड एलिमेंट दैट इज टू डायमेंशनल एलिमेंट सो एवरीवन नोज दैट टू डायमेंशनल एलिमेंट इंक्लूड ट्रायंगुलर एलिमेंट एंड रेक्टेंगुलर एलिमेंट सो फॉर ट्रायंगुलर शेप देयर आर थ्री नोड्स एट द एंड and for quadrilateral elements is having total 
four nodes at its end. But for the quadratic triangular element, there is additional node at the middle line. So quadratic triangular element is having total six nodes. Similarly, for the quadratic quadrilateral element, there is also additional node at the middle of the sides. So the quadratic quadrilateral element is having total eight nodes. Now next हम देखते हैं three dimensional element. Everyone know it is used for volume shape. So volume element has the shape of hexahedral that is eight nodes, wedge that is six nodes, and tetrahedral that is four nodes or pyramid. We can say it has five nodes. So these are some example of one D. 2D and 3D element. So that have been used for analysis purpose. So first is the example of tower. So for analysis purpose, used one dimensional element. The numbering in the circle indicates the number of elements, and the numbering without circle that indicates the number of nodes so for the tower we used one dimensional line element for analysis purpose so it is a figure of one dimensional or tower structure now second this is a figure of plate just like a spanner so we will see triangular you can see here triangular element that is two dimensional element is used for the analysis purpose you can also use quadrilateral element but for irregular shape triangular elements will be best for the regular shape quadrilateral element will be best here we use two dimensional element for the analysis purpose and now third figure it is a three dimensional object so we need to use three dimensional element here is also the same if the structure is irregular we use tetrahedral element if the structure is regular then we use hexahedral element so guys next topic is selecting the element type of mesh जब भी हम किसी मॉडल पे पार्ट पे या फिर किसी कंपोनेंट पे हम मेशिंग जनरेट करना चाहते हैं तो हमें नॉलेज होना बहुत जरूरी है कि हम किस टाइप का मेस एलिमेंट सिलेक्ट करने वाले हैं मतलब वो कौन सा एलिमेंट होगा उसका टाइप क्या होगा वन डायमेंशनल टू डायमेंशनल थ्री डायमेंशनल सो वाइल मेशिंग अ कैड मॉडल यू विल हैव टू केयरफुल अबाउट दी टाइप ऑफ मेस एलिमेंट दैट यू सिलेक्ट तो प्राइमरीली Elements are classified as one-dimensional, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, and special type. Now we discuss why we need all types of element and its significance. So to decide or select the element type, pay attention to these three factors. So first factor is size and shape of an object second factor that is the type of an analysis and third factor is time allotted for the project so let us discuss about first factor that is size and shape of geometry so for analysis purpose software need all three dimensions defined that means length width and a third you can say depth or the thickness so it cannot be make calculations unless the geometry is not defined completely the geometry can be categorized as one dimensional two dimensional or three dimensional based on object dimensions and then 
the type of element is selected accordingly now we discuss first element that is one dimensional element so it is used for geometry having one dimension that is a length is a very large as compared to other lateral dimension means width and thickness so the shape of the one dimensional element is line when the element is creating by connecting two nodes the softwares known about only one dimension out of the three dimensions so remaining two dimensions are vary with the cross sections and that must be defined as a additional input data and assigned to the respective element uh, next to the practical examples of one dimensional element are long shaft then rod then you can say beam and for column uh, then spot weld then bolt joint and then pin joint second discuss karte hain second element that is two dimensional element here two dimensions of the geometry that means length and width are very large than the other third dimension that is thickness you can see here that is length 500 and width 300 both the dimensions are very large as compared to third dimension that is thickness only 10 mm so uh the shape of two dimensional element is quad that is quadrilateral and second one is tri that is triangular element so by creating two dimensional element software know only two dimensions out of three dimensions required and the third dimension is thickness and that has to provided by user as a additional input data and practical examples are that is sheet metal parts or plastic component like instrument panel so in general 2d meshing is used for parts having a ratio of width by thickness is less than 20 third element hum discuss karte that is three dimensional element so all three dimensions that is length width and thickness so when all three dimensions are comparable that is 100 200 and 50 then we select that three dimension element so shape of three dimensional element is tetra penta hexa then or pyramid and the practical examples are transmission casing plus housing engine block connecting rod crankshaft etc typically in industrial problems meshing is a combination of one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional elements so this will be resulting faster simulation type so guys second factor which determine the type of mesh is analysis type so as we know in two dimensional element there are two elements first one tria and second one is quad element so according to the type of analysis hum tria element prefer karenge ya fir quad element prefer karenge iska selection yahan pe karna hota hai so हम यहाँ पे देखेंगे कि फॉर फर्स्ट एनालिसिस दैट इज स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फर्टिंग एनालिसिस दैट क्वाड एंड हेक्सा एलिमेंट्स आर प्रिफर्ड सेकंड टाइप की एनालिसिस हम यहाँ पे देखते हैं कि क्रैश एंड नॉन लिनियर टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस यहाँ पे क्या होता है कि द ब्रिक्स एलिमेंट्स आर प्रिफर्ड ओवर दी टेट्राहेड्रल एलिमेंट तो ये नॉलेज होना जरूरी है कि जब भी हम क्रैश एनालिसिस परफॉर्म करेंगे या फिर नॉन लिनियर एनालिसिस परफॉर्म करेंगे तो हम कौन से टाइप का एलिमेंट यूज करेंगे तो यहाँ पे हम ब्रिक्स एलिमेंट प्रिफर करेंगे ओवर दी टेट्राहेड्रल एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट फॉर थर्ड एनालिसिस दैट इज मोल्ड फ्लोर एनालिसिस सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस 
so triangular elements are preferred over the quadrilateral element so fourth type ki analysis hum dekhte hain dynamic analysis so when the geometry is border line between the classification of 2d and 3d geometry and 2d shell elements are preferred over the 3d element this is because shell elements being less stiff for captures the modes of sh uh, shapes accurately and with a fewer number of nodes and elements so every automotive company has its own standard for selecting the element type now the third factor which determine the type of mesh element is time allotted for the project when time is not constrained मतलब प्रोजेक्ट सबमिट करने के लिए हमारे पास टाइम ही टाइम है सो so, ऐसे टाइम पे मतलब व्हेन टाइम इज नॉट कंस्ट्रेंड द अप्रोप्रिएट सिलेक्शन ऑफ एलिमेंट टाइप मींस फ्लो लाइन तो गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ मेश इज रिकमेंडेड बट कभी कभी क्या होता है कि हमारे पास एक साथ पांच पांच छह छह प्रोजेक्ट आते हैं और वो पंद्रह दिन के अंदर या फिर टाइट डेड के अंदर सबमिशन करना होता है सो समाइम ड्यू टू वेरी टाइट डेड लाइन द एनालिसिस इज फोर्स टू सबमिट रिपोर्ट क्विकली सो फॉर सच सिचुएशन ऑटोमेटिक और बैच मेशिंग वुड बी यूज इंस्टेड ऑफ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एंड गुड क्वालिटी मेश प्रोवाइडिंग मेथड सो फॉर थ्री डी मेशिंग the tetra elements are preferred over the hexa element if the assembly of several component is involved then only critical parts are meshed appropriately so other parts kya hote are either coarse or meshed or represented approximately by 1d beams springs concentrated masses etc